<clears throat> I thought it gay. That sound gay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Timo. Hey, I'm Jason. And we're blogging out about gay movies. We thought it would be fun to talk about some of our favorite gay movies. I don't know where to start. I'm gonna I think we should start out with our favorite movie. Really? Because we share our favorite movie. We do okay. share our favorite movie, and that is... We're the World Mine. We saw this movie as the... What do they call it? The finale movie of the Portland Gay and Lesbian Film Festival a few yes. years ago. And I loved it. I loved it too. Yeah. He had already seen it and he didn't tell me anything about what it was. And I was like, oh dear God, it's like a big gay sparkly fairy movie with songs and like, I mean, it is gay. It is so like gay, it's but at the gay. same time, like every time I watch that movie, it just puts me in a good mood. Right. It just makes me feel awesome. Oh, well, I love Shakespeare, and A Midsummer's Night's Dream is one of my favorite stories. And this is basically, well, they're doing the play inside the film. Mm -hmm. But it's also uh, takes some of those themes and weaves it into the movie. Right. That's what I love about but it. But isn't that what Midsummer Night's Dream does, is there's a play within the play, play of yeah, A Midsummer exactly. Night's Dream. I loved it. And I think it's one of the best films about Shakespeare I think sure. I've ever seen. And it's also one of the best just gay films in general. So. Yeah, I mean, and I think what I love about it, and, and, and maybe this is a great time to talk about it, I have this theory about gay films that there's like four conventions, if you will, of gay cinema. And I very much agree with you on this. And they are, there's a drag queen, right. there's a coming out story, Yes. there's a suicide attempt, or there's a drug overdose. Right. And it's not necessarily that any film that has one of those four things is automatically not a good film, but I like and admire films that get away from those things. You could argue there's drag queens, but since it's Shakespeare and at an all-boys school, it's men dressing up as women just because... I mean, it's not like the, the classic drag queen. No. Or like, it's not like Gigi LaRue, ah. or, yeah. Gigi LaRue or whatever the heck they're <laughs> yeah. called. But it's just like, you know, the, the males playing the female characters because they have to. The thing I really liked about it, too, was being a musical is obviously a, very much a cliché. You know, like, walking down the street and breaking into song should be horribly uncomfortable, or at least for me it's always been. And it wasn't at all for this. It's just, it's just brilliant and wonderfully done, and you're never uncomfortable. It just right. fits and it flows, and yeah. it's just brilliant. I think prior to seeing Word of the World Mine, my favorite gay movie was Latter Days, which is very much the opposite. It is a drama. Yes. Very much a drama. It is a... It's got some levity in love it. Love story. It's got some levity, but it's a love story. It's definitely got a suicide attempt. It's got a coming out story, if you will. No drag queen. No drag queen and no drug overdose. It's a story of a young uh, Mormon boy who is sent on his mission to L.A., West Hollywood, right. where he meets like a Hollywood sort of playboy, gay guy, and it's a dramatic love story between the two of them as yeah. he you know, comes to terms with his own sexuality and then, of course, the whole fact that he's a Mormon comes into play, and I cry at the end every single time. <laughs> when, and I'm not going to give it away for people who haven't seen it yet, but when he drops the tray, yeah. oh my god, I, it's so good. <laughs> what else? An oldie but a goodie is Trick. Yes, Trick. It can. It has Christian um, Campbell, Nev Campbell's brother, Tori Spelling. Tori Spelling is absolutely hysterical in that movie. Like I don't, I'm not like a 90210 or any of that stuff, but she's fantastic. Yeah. And this movie this, has a drag queen. But a really great, a really great drag queen, and the scene in the bathroom. Is just it has one hilarious. of the most, I think, one of the most accurate depictions of a, what it's like to actually go to a gay club. If anybody has never been, if you're too young or whatever, never been, like watch this movie. That's pretty much exactly what it's like. And it's or also like in the late nineties. Yeah, true. It's also like honestly, just it doesn't really matter that it's gay. It's just a great romantic comedy. A couple of good musical numbers. Yeah, actually, there are a couple good musical numbers, but it works. Goes to <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. So what's next? Summer Storm, or in German. Summer Storm. Pretty close. Wow, that sounds like almost English. To cognate. This is a made-for-television movie. Made-for-television. In Germany. Which should tell you something. It tells you something about German television, and it tells you something <laughs> about their culture. Like, this is a completely romantic story about, in this case, they're probably high school age, maybe early college high school age. Crew. Two best friends, one is straight, one is comes out, I guess, as gay throughout the throughout the film. It is a coming out story. And uh, it is a coming out story, and it's um, you know, this this crew, rowing crew, and they go to compete in Berlin, and one of the other teams that they're competing against, it's the gay rowing team. So of course there's a couple of there's a great fodder for a homophobic guy on the team that's right. sort of uncomfortable with it, and then of course the main character played by Robert Stadlober is, you know, obviously gay himself, and so he sort of falls for this 
boy on the other team who is adorable and then it's so romantic and tender so has one so of the true. best sex scenes ever and it's I not so, explicit yeah. really yeah, at that's, all that's what i love about it it's like doesn't show a lot but it's just like it has all the right elements and it's kind of really tender and body 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 I think the word that you're looking for is hot. Oh, so hot. But it's also really good and uh, doesn't have the perfect wrapped up in a nice neat little bow ending. It's got like a nice European ending. It's, <laughs> it's poignant and it's cute and it's realistic and it's, I like it. Right. Another game movie, so one we've both seen. Well, another game movie is a nice change of pace because I think we've been talking about a bunch of like artsy fartsy movies or like and dramas. Very dramatic. Very dramatic. <laughs> and or, was a comedy. Well, yeah, romantic, romantic comedy, comedy, but yeah, like. But another game movie is just like ridiculous. It's like American Comedy, Pie. Yeah. It's the gay American Pie. Right. But I just remember, like, I really enjoyed it. Like, despite the fact that it was complete gross-out American Pie-type humor. <laughs> but it was also really well-written, and it was really funny. But it was also, like, you cared about the characters. And, like, at the end, instead of it having just being a big, like, hump fest, when they actually do kind of do the whole American Pie, like, we're going to have sex before we graduate thing, like, there was genuine love and romance right, yeah. in there. And they really kind of, you know, made me go, oh. That was cute. I like that. Yeah. So tell us your favorite gay films or tell us your favorite films in general. And if we haven't seen them, we can watch them. Absolutely. So don't forget to subscribe. And like. And like. And comment. And our Twitter handles are at the end. Hit us up. We'll be around. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I gated up right there at the end. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>